President Obama offered up some thoughts on how the House and Senate Dems should deal with a Trump presidency. He said, quote, give Trump a hearing. I certainly don't want them to do what Mitch McConnell did when I was elected. Meet the day of and say our sole objective is to not cooperate with him on anything, even if the country is about to go into a depression so that we can gain seats in the midterms and defeat him. My advice to Democrats is know what you care about and what you stand for and fight for your principles, even if it's a hard fight. Okay, uh, so what's my take on this? Well, on the one hand, that's the exact right thing to do. It's the adult thing to do. And it's exactly what Bernie Sanders and, and Elizabeth Warren promised to do because they came out and said, okay, if he wants to make a deal on infrastructure, Mr. President, let's do it. If he wants to block TPP, Mr. President, let's do it. If he wants to protect Social Security and Medicare like he said he wants to do, if he wants to help the unions out, if he actually wants to look out for the working man like some of his campaign re rhetoric indicated. Mr. President, we're on your team 100%. So they said that, but then they also said, we ain't going to budge an inch on, oh, you want to ban all Muslims? Please. We're going to block you and you're done. Hell no. You're not going to ban all Muslims. No, you're not going to deport all undocumented immigrants. No, you're not going to implement policies that are anti-woman and takes away reproductive rights and yada, 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 yada. So they said, okay, we'll oppose him vigorously when we disagree with him. When we agree with him, we'll work with him. So if, if Obama's talking about that kind of adult governance, I agree with him 100% because that's just, that's common sense. But here's what I fear. I fear that Obama's saying this, it's basically a hint. It's a sign that you're going to have the establishment Democrats will take this as a green light, like all the green lights behind me, uh, witty, um, to compromise on shitty Wall Street giveaways and just being quintessential establishment insider pricks. Because whenever the Democrats and the Republicans agree on something, it's not because it's actually Democratic goals that they both want to implement. Whenever the Democrats and the Republicans agree, it's the Democrats caving to agree with the Republicans on some shit. So I fear that they'll use this as like, you know, oh, we can approve, we can do the repatriation deal, for example. So take the, the billions of dollars that are overseas that corporations are stashing there and dodging their taxes, bring them back here. And we'll give them a, a break, give them a much lower tax rate than what they're supposed to pay and what you would pay if you were hiding your money overseas. So they might agree on that. They might agree on, you know, more Wall Street bailouts or more corporate subsidies or whatever it is. That's what I fear is actually going to happen with what Obama's talking about here. And they could just cave to right-wing priorities. So we're going to have to wait and see. You know, maybe that's not the case. Maybe I'm being too cynical here. But it is striking that with the Republicans, you get this sense of hell no when a Democratic president is elected. But when a Republican president is elected, the Democrats go, maybe... So that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing, depending on exactly what they mean and what issues they agree on, but we'll reserve judgment and wait and see.